What's good guys, this is MXR and you're watching Skyrim Mods Weekly number 26. So high school is pretty much over for me, so college here I come and if you guys don't follow me on Facebook, I built a new gaming PC and this is a beast, it's running a GTX 670 with a i5 Intel Ivy Bridge. 3570k I believe and that just means I could use any EMB I want and still run at over 60 frames per second which means smooth recording smooth footage and overall just better video quality so I know for the past few weeks I've really been slacking off so hopefully this video will make up for it I really put in a lot of time on this one there are some really excellent mods this week and you're probably wondering if I'm playing through the intro of the game again but no this is actually scenic carriages and it allows you to enter first person and third person mode when you travel from city to city so instead of vanilla just teleporting someone? wherever you want to go this adds a more lore no friendly problem. way to travel by putting you on the back of the carriage so you can see all the sites and sounds you could choose what speed you want it to move but even at the fastest speed it still takes a while to get from place to place but the good thing is you could just talk to the guy to get off the carriage or just to automatically teleport to your destination so now that I have a GTX 670 I could actually run all the EMBs I never reviewed in the past so to make up for never covering EMB mods I'm just gonna cover the top three in my opinion which are superb jasmine and sharpshooters so i'm just gonna go around the beautiful town of riverwood and just capture some random still frame shots using each mb to compare and see which one i think looks better and which one you think looks better each mb is shot with all the effects on the highest ultra settings i couldn't be happier with the performance of this card there's so many EMBs on the Nexus now, I think Superb is the most popular followed by Sharpshooters and then Jasmine. So far I'm really digging the Sharpshooters Extreme Graphics EMB. I think you guys know me by now, I like the more saturated and vibrant colors. But I also want to know what you guys think, so leave in the comments which is your favorite EMB. Which one do you think is the best for Skyrim mod videos? So far I'm leaning towards the Sharpshooters Extreme Graphics and so for the rest of the video that's the EMB I'll be using. Oh and if you don't like any EMBs at all, which I kinda doubt cause they make the game look really really nice. You can also cast your vote for realistic lighting, what I used to use in all my videos. So enough of all these EMBs, let's move on to Behemoth the Feathered Dragon, a replacement for Odaving. So the next time you use Call Dragon, Odaving won't show up and instead Behemoth the Feathered Dragon will show up. And I for one think he looks a lot better than Odaving. Zero Frost actually made his model from scratch. It's really high resolution and it looks really nice. I mean making a dragon model that's even better than Bethesda's is really impressive in my opinion. I also really like the feather design. I think it's creative, it makes it look a little more organic as he says. And he kind of looks like half bird, half lizard. Behemoth is also bigger than Odaving and a lot more aggressive. I mean I summoned him and he just started like fucking shit up. He went around and just started picking fights with everyone, setting people on fire for no reason, like just innocent bystanders like mud crabs just being set on fire and killed. It's actually really dangerous to have him out because he'll just start killing everything around you for no reason. And he'll get you in trouble with the law, so so beware of summoning him around friendly NPCs I guess or else he'll just kill them. He's not actually more powerful than Odaving, he just likes to attack stuff more than Odaving. For the past few weeks, I think there's been a shortage of Asian Japanese armor mods. I'm sure some of you guys are glad to hear that. So for this week, we only have the Jester outfit retexture. This is for males and females. You could either get it as a replacer or as a standalone. I like the colors he used and it looks a ton better than the vanilla version. So next up, we have a pretty cute mod. That's a first. It has a variety of nicely designed plush backpacks. The guy didn't want to seem gay so he told me his girlfriend asked for them but we all know he just wanted to make plush backpacks but you gotta admit it is pretty cute and you know I'm just joking around with the guy. And now moving on to a more deadly mod I guess you could say. This is quite simply called Scythe and it adds a bunch of sights to the game. They don't look like any ordinary sights either they look like they're like glow in the dark. Who doesn't like glow in the dark weapons? I know I do. So as fans of the show, I think you guys know what's coming up next. It's time to test the weapons on Brave. Oh, and I forgot to mention there are two versions of the two-handed version. 
and there's also a dual wheeled version, and there's also a red version which I'm not showing you in this video because I'm showing you Genocide. I'm also using advanced kill moves, and for some reason all the kill moves end up with me grabbing Brave and then punching the shit out of her. I'm just confused as to why I'm not using the actual blades in the finishing move, but you gotta admit it's pretty funny watching me punch her face in. Not to mention these scythes are really overpowered, they actually drain health, they have huge range and the most overpowered part is just how fast you can swing the thing most two handers do not swing that fast next up we have a very useful mod that allows you to attach a lantern to your belt that hooks onto your right butt cheek this allows you to essentially carry a torch without actually using a torch so that you could keep your hands equipped with a weapon to defend yourself you could also adjust the brightness of the lantern either less bright than the torch the same brightness as the torch or even brighter than the torch and basically there will be a light on you at all times without having to equip a torch or cast a spell. Chesco is also working on a lot more features like a front and back lantern, carryable lanterns, consumable lantern oil for now he actually just has lantern oil but you can't really use it. I think those are the features I'm more interested in. Also am I the only one that notices when you come up to light sources it actually dims down and I also notice how this one torch over here is lit but the other one isn't giving off any light at all that's kind of weird. But that's the really needs to fix these things. So this week we have two cute mods. This one adds pets to the game, more specifically dogs and cats. Oh, and also a few rabbits and a wolf. Oh, and it seems like this pet got lost in the ground or something. Aw, isn't that cute getting lost in the ground? Anyways, all the pets are scattered all around Skyrim in different towns and in different settlements. There aren't too many pets or too little, so it still kind of feels realistic. They're all very nicely spread out and in all different colors. To be exact, there are 16 cats, 11 dogs, 3 rabbits, 1 wolf. Cats come in 10 different colors, the dogs come in 4 different colors, and several sizes. And really just walking around Skyrim and seeing just pets just chilling there makes the game a lot more immersive and if you really want to adopt a wild cat or dog or whatever you could even use them as a follower and put them in your home i mean aren't they just so cute don't you just want to adopt them get them off the streets of solitude or white run and next up we have a really fun mod this one is brought to you by the same guy that made master of time and space so you know this one's gonna be fun it has a bow called Imperius, imbued by the power of God. I mean, just look at it. It's such a godly looking weapon. So the mod is called Power of the Gods because you're able to disenchant it and then use that enchantment for other weapons, giving them the power of the gods. And right now, you're probably wondering what the hell is the power of the gods? Well, you'll see soon enough. Right now, I just turned off collision, which means I can float wherever I want and just be like, well, a god. And no, the power of the gods is not freezing people in place. Now, what it actually actually does is send them flying. Now that wasn't a really good showcase of the mod so I'm going to show you what it actually looks like without turning on and off collision. Now just imagine all the possibilities with this mod and the mod power of time and space. Using them together really makes you feel like a god. Now just watch as this helpless dragon flies across the sky as I load up a few arrows. It really has no chance at all. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you kill a dragon with the power of the gods and the power of time and space. And now before I end the show I just want to show you guys one last silly mod. Away from me. We've intercepted couriers from Yep, someone just had to do this. The animation, the fart sound, everything. So if you're looking to lighten up your fusradas, then feel free to download this mod, no one's stopping you. And that concludes this week's episode. I put in a lot of time into this video and a lot of money to build this Beats Gaming PC just to make better videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And so the tongues freed us from Alduin's rage Gave the gift of the voice, ushered in a new age If Alduin's eternal, then eternity's done For his story is over and the dragons are gone